This video describes the software installations for operating the DX Petro SDR receiver. Here you see an antenna connected already to the VHF input. After connecting the USB cable, the LED of the device shines. The blue color indicates operation in the VHF range. With a sliding switch, the range can be changed to shortwave. Then the LED shines red. While the socket USB-A is meant for the connection to a PC or a smartphone, the socket USB-B serves to connect an optional power supply. After connecting the device to the PC, the original Windows driver is shown in the system control under Device Manager. This device has to be replaced. To do this, you need to download Zadig Exe from the displayed web page. Please note that there are two versions, one for Windows Vista to Windows 10, a separate version for Windows XP only. Now start Zadig Exe with the DX Petrol connected. From the Options menu, select the entry List all devices and deactivate Ignore Hubs or Composite Parents. Then choose the RTL entry and click Replace Driver. No other values have to be altered. After you confirm the various dialog windows, the driver installation is complete. In the system control under Device Manager, now the shown entry is listed. It is recommended to subsequently reboot the PC. For using HDSDR, two files have to be downloaded, the installation file of HDSDR and a DLL file. After the downloads are complete, HDSDR has to be installed and then the DLL file has to be copied to the program folder. HDSDR is started by double-clicking on HDSDRXE and then selecting the DLL file. After starting the software via the Start button, the DX Petrol is ready for operation in the VHF range. For shortwave operation, a suitable antenna must be connected to the antenna connector marked HF and the slide switch must be set to the lower position so that the red LED is lit. In addition, the sub-item RF front end frequency options must be selected in HDSDR under the menu item Options. The value 40 million, that is 40 and 6 additional zeros, must be entered for SDR hardware on down-up converter. Confirm with Apply and close the window. Now the DX Petrol is ready for use on shortwave. First download the installation file from the manufacturer's website. The installation is carried out menu guided and also includes a suitable version of Microsoft Visual C++. A suitable DLL for the DX Petrol is also integrated, so no separate download is required. When you start the program for the first time, the DLL has to be integrated as shown here. Click Select Radio. Select RTL Dongle from the search menu. To operate the DX Petrol on shortwave, you need to add an offset in this software also. Click Radio Definitions, mark RTL Dongle and activate Converter Selection. Open the configuration window with Edit and enter the value 40 millions in the frequency field. Activate up converter 
and confirm by clicking Add and OK. Now the offset is activated and the DX petrol can be used below 40 MHz. It is always possible to switch the ranges by selecting or deselecting the stored value up 40 millions.